welcome back to another friend mail video. So this one I have been eagerly awaiting because I know some of you saw that one haul video that I kept stopping to film uh, because one of my friends was on the hunt for that Ringo bracelet for me and found it. It's in this box along with a bunch of other beetle goodies and I'm really excited to show you guys. But first I want to show you the box because she decorated it. So this is from my friend Jeanette and um, she made it into the Beatles box for me and it's adorable. I crossed out the addresses so no worries about any info getting out there that shouldn't be. I even scratched out last name of hers just in case because I wasn't sure how much info is okay to be out there. But um, I scratched out addresses though for sure so you can still see the cute tie-dye sticker up here. Uh, there's another one over there but it's kind of covered. But this side though, like... <laughs> Oh, I love it so much. It's like, we got the Beatles box. We've got the sun for Here Comes the Sun. Do, 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 do. And um, we've got another tie dye sticker. I might be able to get that one into a journal, actually. Um, we have. Do we get it? Do we get it, guys? I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> if you don't, then what are you doing here? This one's more personal of an in-joke. Unless you're a Monkees fan who follows Mike Nesmith's Facebook, that one's not going to make sense. Um, and we've got a little blue smiley guy with stars for the eyes, which, hello Davy Jones, uh, <laughs> and another star in New York, because New York, New York, uh, and a cupcake, just because they're cute, and Paris. And then on the other side, because I'm me, I love it. I freaking love it. And that is actually the side that was facing the door outside when I went out to go pick it up. I was like, oh my god, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so I have not even been into this box myself yet. So we've got, whoop, there's fuzz on the box cutter. All right, carefully, which side should we do it from? Hmm, maybe this side. Try to not slice myself in the process. I know, so many of you keep commenting, don't ever aim it at yourself while you're doing it. So what do I do every time? Aim it at myself. But, well, if I do it this way, it's like it's all gawky. I feel like I have more of a liability to accidentally hit something if I do it the gawky way than if I do it the way where I feel like I can control the motion. See, my hand's way over here, so I think we're okay. I think we are okay. All right. One more slicey slice. Okay. Ugh. Here we go. We've got some bubble wrap because everybody. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, hello. I didn't know she was gonna kind of put it in a cool beetle bag. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, I'm in love with that. I'm keeping that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So she also went to, in addition to um, to that one Ringo concert where she found the bracelet for me, she also went to Beetlefest, which I had really wanted to go to this year, but I was just not able to scrape together the funds. So here's hoping maybe next year. I've never personally been yet. I would love to, but it's expensive. So it's heavy. Do we think it is a bracelet? I don't think it's the bracelet. What is in here? Oh, oh I think I know it's in here. I was wrong, but I'm very happy about it. <laughs> it's been a while since Beetle Fest, so I kind of forgot what all she got for me. Because I do have to pay her back for the stuff, but still. Okay, they are hooked together. Whoops, I dropped one. Well, I have some pin backs. You guys know I love to hook them on my purses and things, so I've got a Who one, which is really awesome. I've got, finally, a Monkees one, although this one's a reproduction, I can tell. You can see the printering, but that's okay. I don't even care. I'm just happy to have one, because I know they had, like, vintage 60s ones. I had the actual legit Beetle one that was like this. Uh, unfortunately, I think that got stolen in the old house, but I did used to have that, 
And apparently there was like a monkey's one that was made just like it, but this is a repro, but I don't care. I'm just happy to be able to put it on my purse. I am not that picky, guys. Down we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am such a dork. I had to. I had to. <laughs> So there's that guy. Was this the one she was warning about? She was saying one of them has a... No, it's not that one. One of them has a really long pointy needle thing on the side. And she said, be careful if you try and wear it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be careful when I'm picking them up to try and not stab myself on it. Um, I think she may... Oh, this is the guy. Okay, it's the Ringo one that has the big long... <laughs> Rusty needle of doom, but it's just going onto a purse. Therefore, I think it's gonna be okay. Although, whoopsies, come back here. I'm trying to figure out if it's that long. Do you just like stab it into the fabric and hope like hell it stays? Like, hmm, I'm a little bit nervous about that one, guys. Not gonna lie, I may have to. I see how they constructed the wire in there. I may take a pair of pliers to it to try and wind it a little further so it'll actually fit because I think they made a little boo-boo with that and it's actually supposed to fit inside there but doesn't quite it's close it's close I see how I can fix it but yeah because I'm like that that that's not supposed to be like that okay so there's that guy and then this one, I was very touched that she let me have this one because I asked if she could find one with the Paul McCartney Wings logo on it. I would love to have a pin of that. And she searched the entire pin table, like across two or three days for me. Could not find one in the bunch. There was like one there at first, but she had to like go to one of the events and was going to come back for it and then it was gone. Never saw another one there. She said, well, I have one at home. If you don't mind a lightly worn one, I'd be willing to give it to you. So, thank you. <laughs> that actually means an awful lot to me. So, I do have that. I finally have a wings pin. Yay. <laughs> so, that's what's in that bag. Um, over here. But... Wait, I have to look at this first. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Uh, I definitely forgot that she scored this for me. So there's this guy that goes to Beetle Fest. He has, like, Beetle's puppets. He's, like, named Mr. Puppet. You can look him up on YouTube. <laughs> and it's autographed. That's so cute. She said she was going to grab one of these for me. I definitely kind of forgot about that, too. That is awesome. Oh, here's his website at the bottom if you would like to go check him out. Free promo for him because he is awesome. So there's that. Okay. And then we've got the little promo for the Yellow Submarine book. I've actually got the Yellow Submarine book, but that's okay. I've, I wanted this too because I think she said they were giving them out for free. So I was like, well, shit, if they're free, then why not? Oh, and this has like info about the making of it too. So this is a little different anyway. Actually, <laughs> the quality of the pages is better in this than it was in the actual legit-ass book. Like, no joke. That's kind of funny to me. But, um, yeah, like, this interview is not in the book. I actually have the book. I think I have it right over here still. I do! Funnily enough, I do! From that time that I read it on camera, I left it over here. I've never actually, like, properly put it in the bookshelf where it goes, but now I will be able to put this with it. I may tuck it inside the cover just for safekeeping. Um, this has been over here since, like, last... When did I film that? I know I bought this last summer. I feel like I recorded that, like, last winter or something. Maybe it was last summer, but, um, it's definitely been over here ever since, and I should really put that away, so I'm gonna... Go ahead and tuck that in there, because, uh, yeah, I, I need to put that away proper. Oh, yeah, it fits right in there like you can't even tell there's something there. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. So we've got that. What have we got here? We have got... Ah! Okay, so we've got the, um, the pamphlet from Beetlefest from this year. What is in here? Ooh, I've got an ad for the Beatles channel on Sirius XM, which just, because Beatles, so hell yeah, I want it. 
any little things like that make my day, guys. Like, I know it seems silly, but really, though. Let's see, what else is in here? What's this? Ooh, an ad for going to see love, which I've still not seen it, guys. Mostly because I need to get my butt to Vegas to see it while it's still a thing. Um... I wasn't sure if there was anything in here worth showing off on camera. I think all this stuff is online, so I think it's okay. But, um, anyway. Yeah, I still need to see that. At some point in time, it's just a matter of actually making it to Vegas to do the thing. <laughs> so, it's like the one and only time I was there. I unfortunately was not there for that. If I had more time and more money, I would have loved to have seen it the same trip. But I didn't. Definitely thought for my 21st birthday I'd get to. That didn't pan out, and I definitely would have figured by the time I was 30 if it was still playing, I would have seen it. And that came and went. It's been like almost another five years. I still haven't. I really legit need to see this thing while it's still there. Okay, we've got, what is this? Ooh, I don't even know what this is, guys. All I know is us would be apples. What do we got? So I think this thing is for, um, it's like a classic rock auction, but that's pretty cool. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, it's not even just classic rock, it's like famous memorabilia in general, like the suit that Gene Kelly wore in Singing in the Rain right there, guys. Talk about fandom collision. All right, well, this does not want to turn pages easily without skipping some. So I'm trying not to skip any. There's some good stuff in here. Oh, hello, Bowie. Hello, more beetles. I cannot complain. So I've got that. And then this. I'm actually going to keep this in the plastic to protect it. But, um... You'll see why I asked her to buy it for me when you see the, uh, of course I did. Of course I did. Because <laughs> it seems like practically every fandom of mine, maybe not Dudley, but just about every fandom of mine in some way, shape, or form was at this thing. And there was Liza. I'm like, I was figuring there's no way that there'd be anything of hers there. Oh, but there was! And now I own it. I've actually seen this pop up on eBay many, many, many times. I've never bought it for whatever reason. Now I have it. <laughs> Wasn't even going out of my way seeking it out, and that one kind of just fell into my lap by chance. What is in here? Ah. I think I know what's in here. I think. It's taped, so I'm like... Trying to be really careful. Whoop. Like all of a sudden it was like Whoa. there we are. Oh, that's cool. So this is another thing that I've seen a similar one on eBay for years that honestly I thought I had bought. But apparently I was confusing it with the bracelet that I have that has a cabochon that matches this. That like just goes right on your wrist like that. But I totally thought I had the necklace too until I went and looked and was like, I don't. And it's how much? Grab it. <laughs> so she did. And now I have a Sgt. Pepper necklace. Yay. So I'm very, very, very happy to finally own one of those. Because like I said, I swear I legit thought I owned one. And apparently I never got around to buying the thing that I thought I had. Oh, this one's like falling out. It just wants to be seen. So we've got a Paul McCartney one over here because, of course, I am me. So, yay. And it's a very unique one, too. It's like a beetle one. I'm trying to... There we go. Now you can see it. It doesn't have too much glare at that angle. Doing the wings symbol before wings was even a thing. I just... I don't know, I freaking love just the irony of it. 
It's so cool. Plus, how many, like, rectangular pendants do you tend to see like that that are photo pendants? Not too many, I would imagine, so I've actually got one now. I think the only McCartney necklaces that I have other than this don't have him personally on them. There is one that was that vintage 1970 Paul McCartney wings one that I've got. Um, it just like hangs right about here. And then I, I want to say I still have it. I hope it didn't get stolen, but I had one that had like a charm of his Hoffner base that was like made teeny tiny, but like to scale on everything, like replica of his base. Um, just on a chain is really freaking cute, and I swear if that got stolen in that robbery, I'm gonna cry, but I think I still have that. I think I have that tucked in a box where it's safe, so I, I think I still have that, so. Yay, I think I have three McCartney necklaces at this point in time, then, in that case. Um, unless it's two. <laughs> but I definitely have at least two, three if I still have the Maca base. Okay. I think this is the last one. I think this is where the bracelet lives. I'm being very, very careful with it. It is! Oh my god. I'm like so stupidly excited for this. Like, you don't even know. You don't even know, guys. When I went and saw Ringo last year, there was a merch stand. I told you guys about this story. There was a merch stand set up, and there was a second one for his MS Paint art that literally nobody was at, and that was why I walked over there, because nobody was at it. So I go over there, and a lot of it is just prints of his artwork that, they're, even his prints, they're way overpriced. It's like, first of all, who wants that on their wall? Secondly, why would you charge $800 for a print? Like, 3000 for a signed one? Like, it's not happening. But I noticed there was one little stand of necklaces, and I've since bought one of those off eBay. There was a different one I wanted more, but I mean, I have not seen it affordably show up. And then there was the bracelets. However, the cost of the bracelets was as much as that hoodie I ended up buying, so I knew it was going to be one or the other. I cannot do both, and I had to play Sophie's choice of what am I realistically going to use more? The hoodie won out. I literally even used it on the way out that night and was definitely glad in that moment that I had purchased that hoodie instead because I would have frozen. I had brought no outerwear that night. It was like September. That said, I now have the bracelet. I will show you it up close in a minute. Right now I'm actually kind of like tripped out that it's actual like stone beads. I thought they were glass. These are actual stones of some sort. That's really cool. But um... I remember asking the um, dude about them because he's just like, buy a Ringo bracelet strung by Ringo himself. And I was like, no, they're not. And he went, they could have been. It's like, you scummy shithead. But it's like, it made me laugh at the same time. I'm like, really? Really, though? No, that's your selling point? And it's not even true. That's so cruel. But um, they had like a whole bunch of them there. So I was figuring, anything that I don't buy tonight, I'll just go on Ringo's website and I'll buy it. Except these never ever turned up on it. And apparently nobody bought them, because I have still never even seen so much as one turn up on eBay. Even on his art website, they never ever turned up. I even contacted them, they were like, yeah, there's so few left that we're not going to add them to the website. And I was like... Can I buy one directly from you? And, uh, we'll consider it. And then that was, like, the last I ever heard of it. I was like... So, I, have like, lived in hope that they would show up at some of his more recent shows again. And everyone that I've known that has gone and seen him since then, I've asked, scope out the merch stands. I will pay you to pick up the bracelet for me if they have it. And almost none of them even had the art merch stand. This one finally did! I was like, oh my god, oh my god, get the thing! So, I finally have in my possession what is apparently a super rare Ringo Star bracelet. Look at these little peace sign beads. They're so effing cute. I'm actually kind of surprised at how heavy this bracelet is. As I'm like, oh, these aren't glass. This is stone, baby. I'm not sure what kind of stone that is, but it's really cool, whatever it is. And then we've got a little peace sign here, and if you flip it over... 
It's got his little signature on it. I'm like, oh my god, I love it so much. And this is supposedly a size large, but I'm like, dude, I have dinky little wrists, and it's only, like, that loose on me. Which, I mean, frankly, if I hold my hand down, it only goes to, like, there. It's pretty darn sturdy on there. So I'm like, wow. And, um... My friend mentioned that they said that this was all we have left. It was, like, a very limited supply of them. So I'm like, I'm apparently in a very exclusive club of people to even own one of these. And I'm just, like, mind blown that I thought I missed the boat and I still got one. Ah! So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, like, a million times. Thank you. I cannot say it enough. Thank you for grabbing it for me. Just... I know, I still need to pay you back for it, I know, but, um, oh my god, I'm so excited that I actually have it! Like, I legit did not think I would get to own this, and I do, and it is on my hand right now, it just, ah! I'm so happy! But anyways, <laughs> that is all that was in the box, but I wanted to share it with you guys, because I know you guys like to see me do the friend mail unboxing, so... I filmed one. Uh, it's not the usual kind that I do on here, but, you know, frankly, I get friend mails that are things other than lip balms sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> and this was one of them, and I am personally very happy for it. Some of you guys are probably really bored right now, and frankly, I don't care. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is my friend mail, dang it. So, anyway, guys, that is it for this one. So, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. If you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. And in case you need to hear today and you haven't, I love you, I'm proud of you, and peace and love. Anyway, guys, bye-bye.